Romantics will tell you that the heart of Buenos Aires beats to the rhythm of the tango. The Tango World Cup is held every year in the city where it was born at the end of the 19th century. Last year, it was all virtual. However, tango is all about cheek-to-cheek -cheek closeness, and it does not sit well with social distancing. So this year, it was back, both in person and on screen. The tango is, is a mirror of what is going on in our society in general. So I truly believe that, uh, it, of, of course, it impacts on us. Tango salons have been closed for a year and a half. While Argentina is now emerging from the pandemic, measures to deal with it are still in place. So while the dancers could get close, they and the spectators were moved to a safer venue. Tango has always survived and thrived because it's adapted to changing times and circumstances, never more so than now. This version being held in the open air in the heart of Buenos Aires with all the spectators wearing masks. It has brought the dance and music back to the streets where it began, closer to the people. Tango is constantly being uh, composed again and again. We have new composers, new dancers, new stories to be told. Or old stories told in a new way. The Tango World Cup paid homage to the winner of the 1986 Football World Cup, Diego Maradona, who died last November. Tango is steeped in nostalgia, and one of its most acclaimed dancers, 87-year-old Maria Nieves, reminded the audience that it never forgets its roots. That's reflected in the technique of traditional salon tango, won this year by Agustin Añez and Barbara Ferreira. But it must always say the winners of the choreographed stage tango category look to the future. People of our age need to be contemporary and reflect what's happening today. Tango has to keep evolving, just like everything else. The pandemic may have muffled the music, but the two by four beat of the tango goes on, bringing the heart of Buenos Aires alive again. Schweiner Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.